Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fisher's Price Great Adventures Figures Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the five figures you get with the Magic Castle. A trio pack. And then lastly, I'm going to be actually reviewing something that came from the Fisher's Price Pyramid line. And this was the last Fisher Price figure that I ever got as a kid. Not as an adult, but as a kid. So, let's get started. So, I was actually able to find two accessories that came with the Magic Castle. The first one, not being so exciting, but still came with the castle, is our purple ladder here. I'm not really sure why I would have kept this, but here it is. And then we have a cannon that came with the Magic Castle. And a uh, cool detail that they did here is actually the button is a little knight figure. So I'm going to shoot this guy off uh, just to kind of see what kind of power we're dealing with. So first I'm going to start with the five figures that you get with the magic castle. Okay, so first I'm gonna talk about my least favorite one out of the five that we just saw. This is our Jester. Now, I was a little bit surprised to see Fisher Price come out with a Jester with this particular group. He doesn't fit in at all with the other knights. That being said, back in the day, Kings did have Jesters, so it does go along with the theme. But him being a jester made it actually really hard to incorporate him into battle. Um, as you can see, like he's got his jester uniform on and he's got like a little jester stick, which I can't imagine would really do anything to anybody in battle. So I think to add to his persona, I kind of mirrored his personality and his fighting tactics after the Joker from Batman. Merry Christmas, Batman! I mirrored him after the Joker, as in like being sneaky and pulling tricks on his opponents to help him try to win any of the battles that he was in. <laughs> okay, now time for the good stuff. So as you saw earlier, with the Magic Castle, it only came with five figures. Now, I was a little disappointed at the time when I was a kid when I got this because I was used to the 10 figures that I got with the original castle. But what Fisher Price did is they lowered the quantity, but really upped the quality of the figures that came with the castle. And so first we're gonna start off with our king here. So I'm just gonna have a side-by-side -side visual of the king that came with the Magic Castle and the king that came with the Fisher's Price original castle. As you can see, he's a little bit taller and his stature is a little bit wider. Here's a look from the side. One thing that Fisher Price did take out was the ability to activate the weapon via the head. So there's no arm movement or any weapon activation with pressing down him on the head but one thing that they did add was the ability to rotate their torso which is something that you couldn't do with the original castle and just before I go on uh, the jester he is all stationary you can't rotate him in any way and another reason why I didn't like him very much So, like I said with the quality of these guys, I'm going to show you some really specific details that comes with our king here. So, Fisher's Price did stay consistent with the gold guys having the crest of a lion. As you can see in our guy's shield here, he also has a lion on his chest plate. And then even on his crown, he has a paw, which I imagine would be a lion's paw. 
The secondary color again is also blue and they even added a third color which is just a little bit of red as you guys can see here. And so as we can see here he's got his shield, he's got a huge sword. I can't imagine anybody would want to try to battle this guy with what he's packing and yeah just an overall really cool really good detail next up we have the other gold knight that comes with the pack again as we can see this his whole shield is consistent of a lion um, the weapon is something that we've kind of seen before and I'll just show you an example here so we both kind of have the chain like weapon here except for a ball with spikes on it we actually have what looks to be a lion's claw again incorporating that lioness into the suit of armor which I think is really cool and last but not least if you actually look at his knee pads they are lions themselves so really upping the quality of these guys and I think they did a really really good job so here's our opposition for our gold guys now I don't think it was specifically this line that Fisher's Price decided to change the color scheme but nevertheless for me this was the first time that the opposition wasn't black and in fact we have a dark blue with purple and tint of yellow so I'm going to start with this guy here. Um, again, can't stop reiterating the quality that Fisher's Price put into these guys, okay? So here is our shield, pretty cool. Whole thing is a dragon. If you look at our soldier's helmet, try to do a 360 view here, it actually looks like a dragon's head in itself. And then we have the spikes going down the back, just like a dragon would. And then last but not least, if we go on our weapon here, you can see a dragon's head, which I, yeah, I just, it's unbelievable the, the amount of quality they actually put into these guys. Um, we have a sword, I wouldn't say it's a typical sword, uh, I think it has that evil kind of twist to it, something that the the evil guys would have. And then, always have to appreciate a really good mustache. So, there we go. Here's our last uh, blue member. Uh, his dragon details are on his shoulder pads. As you can see, dragon's head. This guy comes with a battering ram, and I guess you'd say that's a large knife. If you've watched my other videos, you've known that I've given some personalities to some of our figures here. And this one is really easy for me. This guy is Biff from Back to the Future. Look at what we have here. And if you've seen Back to the Future, you know what kind of character Biff is. If you haven't, then Biff is always the bully. He's the leader of the bullies. He doesn't back down from anyone, and he's a big butthead. So. What do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm talking to you, McFly, you Irish bug. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Anybody home? Hey, think, McFly. Finn, what are you looking at, butthead? So what's it to you, butthead? You've been looking for a butthead. <laughs> So that is why I'm deeming this guy Biff here, the leader of the Dark Blue Dragons. With my Magic Castle, I also was given a variety figure pack that came with these three guys. I call them the Dead Trio for obvious reasons because we have a ghost, a mummy, and a skeleton. The cool thing about these three guys is they actually glow in the dark.
looking at our guys here, I would say that our skeleton is probably the one most ready for battle. He's got that battle axe with uh, actually some armor on. Here we have our ghost. And I thought it was kind of funny he came with a chain, like they were trying to lock the ghost up. I didn't even know you could do that. But then again, he can do some damage in battle with, with his chain here. And I saved the best for last, in my opinion. And that is our mummy here. He's actually my third favorite Fisher's Price figure when I was a kid. And that was because he was just so simple and it looks like he could beat anybody up just with, with his hands. And growing up as a kid, one of my favorite Disney Channel movies was a movie called Under Wraps and that was about a mummy. And so I also think that played an effect on why this guy was my top three favorite. So last but not least here, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this figure did not come in the Magic Castle line, but the Pyramid line that I believe came after the Magic Castle. Now, the reason that I have this figure is because usually when I did well in school when I was a kid, my parents would reward me by taking me to the toy store. So I think it was the end of the year and I did really well and so they said, you can go pick out a toy. And I think I actually had my eyes set on the actual big pyramid box that you could get with, I think it comes like with five guys and all the cool gadgets and things like that. And they said, that's way too big. You already have two castles and a boat. You don't need more of this big stuff. You need to pick something smaller. So I think this was the next biggest options that I could get. And at the time, I probably thought that it went with the line because, well, there was a mummy and we have a pharaoh. So it probably made sense to me. So here is our look at our figure here. He's got a whip, which I can imagine would be for his horse, a gold knife. Like I said, he looks like a mummified pharaoh. There is that. He's able to uh, sit pretty nicely at the top here so he could command his horse and fire his missiles. Just giving you a close-up of our missiles here. It uh, looks kind of like a mummified fist. Now, you're supposed to have four missiles, but unfortunately, sometime over the years, I am lost one, so I only have three. That's okay, because three is better than... Um, hopefully, I can get these to fire for you guys. Nice. So, the also the cool thing is that you can actually detach our course here. So here's a look at our mummified horse. Pretty cool. And you're able to, if you want, get your mummy to ride his horse. He actually stays on pretty well too. If you shake him around. And it's really easy to put him put it back. You just gotta clip our pegs in the holes here. So I would say that when I originally got this guy, he was definitely going to take over at either number three or maybe even number two for my favorite figures. And I quickly realized that I liked him so much because he came with a chariot and a horse and he had missiles that you could fire. And I thought that is not a reason to have him in your top three. So. This guy landed at number four. So there you have it for my Magic Castle figures and my one pyramid figure. Everything after that now is going to be new stuff to me that I purchased in the year 2020. So I'm going to be really excited to show you guys what I've been able to collect. And I hope that uh, you guys stay tuned and continue to watch these videos.